Today we're doing something I don't do often enough on this channel and that is check out some basses from Crow Bass. I was really fortunate at the British Boutique Guitar Festival to have my buddy Adam around and he is a fabulous bass player. So let's go and check out the Crow Basses. Hey folks, and I am delighted to be here with Adam, my man from Hot Pole Studios, and we are checking out some Crow basses, and we have Mr. Crow behind us. Say hello, Mr. Crow. Hello, Mr. Crow. <laughs> so, Adam, you're going to tell me a little bit about these basses, because you have already played them. Yes, not five minutes ago. Are they nice? They are very nice. Very nice. And Adam, of course, is a bass player. So oh, you're going to get much better bass playing than I could possibly do. So thanks for doing this. Tell us a little bit about this first one. Well, this one appears to be made of wood. It's got two Wood? It's got two pickups. Why is it made of wood? Well, if you make them out of plastic, they don't sound great. Ah, oh, okay. Um, I'm looking to get one made out of aluminium, but that's just space age. That's not you real. You like Bagley, don't you? You do. I do, but that, let's not let's not talk smack about Dirk in this chat in this program. Let's not, because <laughs> it is about crow bass. Absolutely. And this thing, th this one, this five string is set up in passive mode with these big fat uh, Nordstrand pickups, and it's got flat wounds on, and it's just Motown for days. Oh, silky. I like yeah. that. And without me changing anything on here, it sounds like this. That sounds beautiful. What so a great smooth. tone. Absolutely. And the, the single cut thing kind of, it always weirds me out at first. Yeah. Uh, but it's got a really nice big uh, neck kind of route here. Yeah. So it's not just a big block, and there is somewhere for your thumb to go, and it's it doesn't feel like it until you play it. Right. Because um, you think, oh no, my thumb's disappeared, and then you keep playing, and you're like, oh, that's all right. Awesome. Oh no. Oh no. He's here. Da, da, da. He's here. Isn't this my couch? <laughs> So what are you doing at my place? <laughs> <laughs> the Henning Pauly is here, and uh, he's at my place this time. Oh, right. Which I travelled. Really nice. You have. You don't you remember. Have. That's a cool bass. Oh, what is that? It's a... Uh, Crow bass. Wood. Oh, he said that too. Looks a little bit witchy. Yes. I it's got that nice big fat thing. Really, really nice. Are these all fat? Just, oh, just this one. Just this one. Wow. Only the one string on this. Do you like bass? <laughs> mm? Do you like bass? Bass in general? Yeah. I love it. It's better than guitar. See, Glenn, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> what does Glenn know? Glenn's wrong. <laughs> so this one is um, flat wound four, five string, sorry. Yes. And we have behind you got two more. We do indeed. So we've got. I'm gonna sit over there and pretend I'm not even no, here. No, you stay oh, there. Mm. You stay. Yeah. I tell you what, you can you can help me. Just push me up. Sit behind me. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Sorry. Nothing no, happened. Not quite enough hands. Nothing happened. Nothing I didn't happened. do it. Almost oh. three sails there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this one um, is is many strings. Right. Okay. Um. So. A six string bass, for anyone who's not aware, tends to have a high C as well as a low B. So it's extended on both sides, uh, which means you can play bass and sound stupid all at once. He knows his stuff. <laughs> In French, for our French words, uh, le bass, le extended, le string. C'est bon. <laughs> <laughs> but because this has got extra strings, we can go... He's a flash oh, boy, isn't he? He's a flash Le boy. show off. The show off, definitely. Again, I have to say that 
is a beautiful tone, Mr. Crow. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah. Funk, um, play funk. Yeah, go on, give us some funky stuff. I'm not gonna go over to Michelle because this is this corner of the room is too embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Says he Says with you. that jumper on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that that they really do sound nice. A nice little extra touch of one extra fret up there. Yeah, just so the high. <laughs> like it. Yeah, so I can very yeah. good. That extra twenty fourth fret. Um, this is something Henning was saying earlier. Is you only ever go for the top fret on the top string on maybe two. Of course, <laughs> you could. Do a calf like that because who yeah. would play up here? You couldn't. Can you reach that fret? Nope. Not with not with my little baby hands. See? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing for for a bass player. I have really small hands, so I physically can't reach that. Not just uh, for not... a bass player. He's got really small hands. And you know what small hands means? Small shoes. Small shoes. <laughs> Tight laces. Yeah. Fully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it means a small cock. <laughs> what, like a male chicken? Yes. Ah, oh, okay, I see. Right, okay. That is another beautiful crow bass. Yes. Um, I'm very impressed. That one has six strings. And it's made with just about the hardest woods ever. It's got yeah. wenge and bubinga, was it? And it's active. And mahogany. Mahogany. Oh, it's mahogany. the other one was bubinga. Blah. Right. But still, oh, hello. That was hey. Mr. Crow bass. He didn't want his bass lit. <laughs> but yeah, the, the one that really, really fascinates me is... I'll pick it up Thank for you, you while Rick. you put the other one back so we don't do it in another. does it. <laughs> what are you doing, Adam? I'm buying all the basses is what I'm doing. I like them so much, I'm so making excuses. If you want to buy a Crow bass... You can't buy these because I just Don't buy bought. any of these because they're <laughs> all plenty. <laughs> And this this one. one is actually hollow. Oh look, 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 look. Ooh. that's a woodworm. Now you've really broken it. <laughs> I have, and that's a smaller woodworm. Mm. Ah. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I'm stuck. Uh oh. No, I'm not. I'm alright. I'm alright. It's all good. But yeah, but I never put your finger in there. That's what she said. Yes. <laughs> So this is the one that is uh, fully chambered oh, and beautiful. yeah, uh, made full in lots of beautiful things. It's actually chambered both sides, but yes. it's got a solid block through the middle. Am yeah, I right? The, That's the what you said room. to me this morning? Yep, yeah, the next one's right the way mm. through. And that gives it a beautiful transfer of tone. Absolutely. Yeah. And speaking of the neck, it's really thick on one side. Wow. It's an asymmetrical neck, so it's really thick on the Can one I side. Can I feel of, that? Yeah. I mean, I don't play bass. Oh. Do you know what? You've got to be strong to play bass. Well, it's when you put your thumb there, suddenly you go, oh. That makes it so much easier to play down the... Right. And it, it stops me, I don't know about you, but it stops me from accidentally hitting the B string because it pushes me down a bit. Yes. It makes your thumb go to where it should be. Very clever, Mr. Crow. It's a bass made with training wheels <laughs> for guitarists. <laughs> I'm impressed with Mr. Crow. Okay. Yeah. And so this one has got the Bartolini's in. Um, yep. Which I was saying to, to Nick before that the, the pickups are really far back, which I thought would sound weird, but it doesn't. It you thought it sound tinny, but actually, because it's a through neck, the transfer of tone is beautiful, and these will actually make it sound much more bassy. Oh, you put me in the right it. place, have you? Yeah. That's good. No high fret on that. I'm disappointed. Still 24. <laughs> Still 24. Awesome. 24 fret bass. Nobody needs that. It's a bass. All I can say is all of them sound really nice. And as a non-bass player, that's the most important thing for me because I don't play it, Adam's a great player, but um, it's, it's a tone, and I think you've got a really nice tone. Well, that's 
the key for any instrument. Of course. For, for the outsider. It's the only the thing that matters. 100%. For sure, for sure. Really, really nice spaces. Adam, thank you so much for showing us these spaces today. Thank you, Mr. Crow. Well, thank for you for having me. Oh, you're most welcome. It's lovely to have you here. Obviously, all a bit of fun there. We had a great time chilling out and having a bit of a laugh while we were looking at three very serious bases. I'm really impressed with Crow bases and I hope you are too. I'll be back with more from BBGF real soon, but in the meantime, you take good care. Mm -hmm.